It was a small chapel. Okay, so we had a so the, that, that's the visiting abbot, and that's the abbot's lodging. All and right. they were quite often going there just to do services rather than going into the church. I see. But if he if did, they were he conducting came private business. But every here. time the service would be on there, they would go into the church. I see. We're speculating presently that this is the priestly. This, dormitory. right. Uh, that's the choir monks' dormitory above. Okay. Underneath, you've got. Um, there's a small library. Then the next room is the chapter house, which is that at the back. Okay. Through there. Then you would have had the parlour, and then what would originally have been the monks. choir monks' day stairs, but mm -hmm. they had them moved to over here. Okay. From by the warming house, so they could get heat up into the dormitory. Mm -hmm. I see. Very good. You don't have another book that gives more reconstruction. No, I'm afraid we don't. It's just a wonderful reconstruction here. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, I see. That's the meat kitchen there. Okay. There's a refectory. See, this area would actually have been like a wall round. That would have been a compound area. A compound. And yeah. the, this is actually, I don't know why they put that there. The road would have come down here. Mm -hmm. the, the gatehouse is what is the cafe now. Right. So yeah. the road would have swept down right. and front of here and then across I see. to the actual abbey area. I see. And this, this was basically a hotel. Right. The lodgings for guests. You, you think, yeah. think of it as, it was actually known as the Hilton of the North. <laughs> it was such a good uh -huh. um, guest house. Okay. Uh, and I they would see. never turn anybody away. No. Whoever called at the door would be brought in, fed, and uh, treated to overnight. Thank you. <coughs> wonderful. Well, in the, if you go into the next room, mm -hmm. you'll find one in the corner.